Wow. We have one more to get to on this weekend here in the World Series. One game is down. And if you're still alive, my goodness, you talk about an electric finish to game one. Here we are, game two. We go through every game on the slate. It happens to be one with the World Series going on. We got you covered. We appreciate you rolling with us. Thank you for being here. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't, please. And also subscribe to the Odd Shopper channel. You see the number constantly growing every time you come to a new video you see the number growing so we want you to be part of this community now we have one play to look at we have the starting pitching matchup out here already we're going to look at the winner of game two but speaking of winner you out there at bet mgm this is the easiest money you're going to make all day so all we have for you is just 10 into 200 dollars. that's it right like a free opportunity for you now to open up a bank account at BetMGM with $200 right there in it. So all you need to do is just click that link below, sign up at BetMGM, put in $10. That's really all you need here. And then bet that on any NBA money line. Don't wait. Do that right away. Don't just sign up and let it sit for two weeks because this deal could be gone and then you lose that. You want to do it all in one swoop, right? Like just sign up, put that $10 in, and then play that on any NBA money line. As soon as you do that, a team's going to hit a three-pointer in the game. You don't even need to win the bet. You don't even need to win the game. All you need is just a team, one guy to hit a three-pointer, and that money turns into $200. So click the link, sign up, put your info in real quick, get your account rolling at BetMGM, make that play right away. Don't wait. NBA money line, somebody hits a three, $10 into $200. It's that simple. We can't make it any easier for you. Now, it's going to be a little, I would think, a little more difficult for the Philadelphia Phillies now to win two straight games against the Houston Astros. But this is what they set up. This is why before the series even begins, when you're looking at, as you know, your opponent, this is why you match up against the Houston Astros with Aaron Nola game one, Zach Wheeler game two. Two reasons. The obvious is that you want a shot at Justin Verlander. Still, the bats are going to remain the same. And as we saw that, it was just a matter of getting to Verlander. It was just a matter of hanging in that game at some point. And this Phillies team just has this weird, random, like huge energy that I think started, if you will, like, the ground zero of it, I guess, would be, what, that ninth inning against the Cardinals where they were down six innings and then six runs in the ninth. And then you see what's happened here where you just you can't beat this Phillies team no matter what how big that lead is. I don't think it's going to be similar to that, which is why the second reason you start Zach Wheeler game two. Framber Valdez is no joke. This is one of the most efficient pitchers in all of baseball. So the two things I would look at here, Zach Wheeler has been dominant. He's not putting any putting anybody, pardon me, on the base path really at all this postseason. And minimum starts, he has had one of the best whips you're going to see for a guy making, what, now third start. So it's it's been insane so far for Wheeler. And that should carry over against the Houston team that's got to be looking around like, what just happened? I mean, I, I, I'm not going to go Rocky and go super Philadelphia stereotype here, but I don't know what more you could do. This would be any type of fight scene. It doesn't have to be Drago versus Rocky, but this was the big bad enemy or good guy, whatever side you're on, just punching the shit out of the small little guy and then looking around like... What, what's going on here? That's going to have an effect, I think, honestly, on the Houston bats. Zach Wheeler has been pitching exceptionally well. The problem will be for the Phillies against the guy in Valdez who just does not waste pitches. So, two ways to go with this. You can slam the under. Again, Valdez, I think, is a better underplay overall than Justin Verlander was simply because of Verlander's struggles. Or you could simply play the better pitcher which is what we're going to do. We didn't do that game one. We played the better team, at least hotter team, I should say. Game two, we played the better pitcher. Game one, the hotter team. Game two, the better pitcher. Game two goes to Zach Wheeler and the Philadelphia Phillies. Lock it up. Phillies win game two 
and come back to Philadelphia up 2-0? Lock it up. All right, we're back on... Are we back tomorrow? No. Lindy's got you starting on the week. All right, so this thing is going to be stretched out, we believe. Now, according to me, this thing could be over on Tuesday. You never know, but Lindy's got you on the week. We're back starting Monday for the World Series, so thank you for rolling with us. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, make sure you're subscribed and have yourself a great week. Thank you.